everybody. Michelle Falcho, I apologize for being late. It's been a little bit, um, a little hectic in my world recently. Um, work's kind of crazy busy, and we were away for a crafting weekend this weekend. So I've got lots to show you, but everything is in total chaos here in my office. So I took the time to try and get things organized to show you, but I can already see that I'm going to be showing you a hot mess. I'm sorry about that, but there's just there's just so much um, that I want to miss out, and I couldn't do it yesterday. I worked too late yesterday, so um, anyway, this week's featured product is the Cauldron Bubble, bubble the Toil and Trouble from the Toil and Trouble Suite, and I showed you, I posted that yesterday, along with a few of the things that I have made recently with it. Um, but there's been some carryover because last week's project or product was the buffalo check paper or background stamp, sorry. And the week before that was the country home. And I've been working with all of those for the last few weeks. So I wanted to take the time to show you some of what I've been working on. And also I've got a couple of tips I want to share and then um, a couple of cards that I think are going to go together really quickly too. So let me get um, get my camera turned around and be be ready and be warned. It's it's not going to be very pretty. It's a hot mess. And there it is. See. So, but since these jumped out first, I have to share these. These are the metallic sequins, and they are copper, gold, silver. I'm sorry, ones. I think it's the lighting that makes it's making them look so funny, but um, yeah, copper, silver, black, um, and gold, different sizes, and they're they're gorgeous. It took us forever to find them in the catalog because they're not pictured. They picture the other color assortment, but not the metallic. So we've been looking since May for the copper. So, down here, on page 198, you see sequin assortment, and it says iridescent, and then metallics. So it's black, copper, gold, iridescent, and silver. Um, we found that sequin assortment and we bought them out. So this week's product, free product, is the metallic sequins. So I don't want to make sure. I want to make sure you don't miss out. So if you order fifty dollars um, online, or if you help me, darn, you place an order for fifty dollars this week, I will send you a pack of the metallic sequins. So that is the featured um, free with the like order. And I can see that I need to adjust this a little bit, or everything I'm going to. I'm going to put them too far back. So, I tried to move this so that um, when you're looking at my face in the square, this arm is not in the way that I can see. I have not succeeded there. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go with the things that are on my desk. So, remember the falling leaves product from a few weeks ago? And I mentioned then that this is this gorgeous buffalo check background. And I just, I love it. So there's a lot, a lot of great products here. There's the um, Mary Merlot card base and ink. I'm using the buffalo check stamp. It's the background stamp. And let me show you what it is in case you're not familiar with background stamps. Um, I love background stamps. I've used the marble a good deal. And then here is this beautiful buffalo check. So it's a big stamp, right? And there's a you can get this on a wood block. You can get it um, to mount on a clear block, or you can use it with your stamparatus. And this weekend, I used mine a great deal with my stamparatus. And that way, I could ink it up several times to get um, good coverage. Because as you can imagine, as you're trying to ink this up, the ink is trying to dry while, where you've been. And um, several of our inks dry pretty fast. So you're down here trying to huff or... Um, Anyway, the Stamparatus just let me ink it up several times and, and make sure I got a, a full image. So that's the Buffalo Check Stamp Set. And um, 
it's in the holiday catalog. And then you can see I've got some shimmer paint on this as well. I'll talk about shimmer paint another time too. Um, well, it looks like my stuff is all over the place. This is a card made with the Cauldron Bubble stamp set. And the cool thing in this suite is that the Designer Series paper coordinates with the framelits, and so do the stamps. So this I actually stamped and colored, but I could actually have cut her out of the paper. Here she is using the framelits. I cut her out of the paper. Now you can see I got a little off center there. But um, So if you want to do some quick and easy or a mixture of stamping um, to make your projects go a little faster, you can cut some of your, um, the witch, the, um, the frog, the cat, the cauldrons, um, there are framelits to go with those. Um, then I've used the corrugated embossing folder. It's a, it's a um, dynamic embossing folder, so it makes a real deep image. Um, the galvanized button from the farmhouse suite, I believe. And then the bat is from another bundle for Halloween. Um, I believe it's called Spooky Treats. So, and then the the broom is um, stamped from the same um, bundle as the as the little witch. So, love, love, love. So, so cute. Um, also made this one this week. So, this is the the same thing. The the cat is from the Cauldron Bubble. Just love that little kitty cat. This is some designer series paper. This braided linen linen trim. We actually had that in our goodie bag for our guests. And we used it in all of our projects. And just, it's very, very fun, versatile, easy to use. I managed to tie bows. That says a lot. Then here's one with the cauldron. And this cauldron, I did not color. I actually um, cut this out from the paper. So, um, and again, the designer series paper. And then this green and white um, thick twine is in the holiday catalog as well. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. I love this little ghost card. You see, I put some little, actually my Stella kind of um, came out rather quickly on this one little ghost. So he's really shimmery, but um, super cute card. I love the purple and black. I love the ghosts. Then we jump over to the country home suite. And um, so I colored these with watercolor pencils on shimmer white paper. This is that corrugated embossing folder again on an angle. Isn't that the coolest thing? Not my idea, um, but I sure was sure was happy to, to borrow it for my project. I just loved it. Um, and this is the designer series paper that coordinates with that suite. And again, colored this with um, watercolor pencils. These were the cards that um, our guests made at the retreat um, using the Country Home bundle. And this one as well. And then this last one. And this was actually white ribbon, white cotton ribbon, that we colored using um, a Stampin' Blends marker. And again, that um, corrugated embossing folder. So those were really pretty. Then I got to catch up on some projects from another um, retreat, and this is one of one of those projects. I'm using the Doris Noel suite, I believe. This one um, was meant to have an embossing folder, and I glued it down before I remembered, so I missed out on that one. I love this. It's got some little sprigs, are kind of kind of hard to see. Kind of blend in a good bit. And then I like this. I like this. Um, sending good tidings of comfort and joy. So and then these are some things that are in progress. Let me shuffle them on by. Where to put them? Where to put them? I'll forget that. That's where I put them. This card. So if you're a member of my team, then. Um, at this month's meeting, you had an opportunity to get a 3x3 three three square of every piece of designer series paper from the holiday catalog. And you could make, um, you could make display boards. 
like these that I made um, using the 3 by 3 square and then I mounted them on a piece of coordinating cardstock and then I did that for all seven of the packs of, of paper. But if you didn't want to do this to showcase the paper, another idea is to make cards with it. So I made this card to show what that might look like. So this is um, a piece of 3 by 3 paper from the All is Bright Designer Series Paper Pack. Um, this red ribbon is from the Holiday Catalog. Then Swirls and Curls Embossing Folder from the Holiday Catalog. A three and a half, three and a quarter square of coordinating cardstock. Um, and then this stamp is from the Christmas Tag Punch Kit. Um, this kit comes with a beautiful tin with the punch and a set of stamps, two ink spots, and a block for $45. Um, so that's how I put that card together. So you could take your stack of designer series paper and cardstock from the meeting and turn it into 42 cards. Do you see how fast I did that? Yeah, six times seven, 42. So um, that would be, and you'd have Halloween, fall, and Christmas. Um, so that's your idea for that. Then my friend Hope designed these Christmas cards that we made at the retreat, again using the watercolor pencils and these little wood elements, too. I actually think this one's my favorite. Mm. Um, aren't they pretty? And then this card um, was part of a challenge for um, my team using the Santa's Workshop Memories and More card. Um, Carrie sent us a piece of uh, from the card pack and told us we could add elements to it that we had to use with what she did this. So this was from a 3 by 4 card. I punched this from the Designer Series paper. The ribbon was white. I tinted it with a um, stamp and blend. And then I gave it a background from the Buffalo check stamp set on Coastal Cabana paper. Isn't it more cute? All right, so we're almost up to date here. I've got a big old stack over there that's going to fall over, a big tower. Then I put together the Timeless Tidings um, Christmas card kit. Now, a lot of us aren't kit stampers. We like to, to create from scratch. But for those who um, would like to send beautiful cards that are handmade yet go quick, quickly put together, this set is stunning. So here are, here are the cards. They're uh, four, four designs. Aren't they beautiful? And you could stamp on the inside as well. could dress them up. Just these beautiful images. Lots of gold accents. And then the envelopes. Gold, gold foil. And lined as well. Good sturdy envelope. So this kit, I'm actually doing a couple of private classes where we're using this kit. Um, get your friends together. And everybody leaves with 30 handmade cards. I believe it's 30. Somebody check my math on that. Maybe it's 20. Sorry, I bet it's 20. It's 30 tags, 20 um, Christmas cards. But they're they're gorgeous. So I would love to help you um, have a fun night with your friends, putting together um, your own handmade cards to send out. So let me know, and let's pick a date soon. Set that over there. Then this last card... Is from the Wishing You Well stamp set. And I'm sure you can kind of pick up the shimmer. So this um, background, it, the card base is Grapefruit Grove. And then there's a layer of crumb cake. With um, I inked up my embossing folder, my um, the tin embossing folder. I inked it up with soft suede ink. And then I put my cardstock inside of it and ran it through the Big Shot, and I got this lovely design. And then I um, spritzed it with some shimmer paint and water. I actually didn't have any rubbing alcohol, so I used water, and it took a little bit to dry, but that was um, not a problem. And then I stamped my wreath in soft suede and early espresso. 
I just made this really pretty, really pretty card. And since the edges are torn and roughed up, it didn't have to be overly precise either. That's usually good for those of us that are see things a little crooked. A um, couple other things. So this was one of the treat, the pillow gifts that we had for our guests. And this was another one. So this is the paper from the cauldron bubble or the toil and trouble suite. Um, and then this little puppy dog is from the darn it trick or tweet, I think is the name. And then inside I have um, four little Hershey nuggets and this ribbon. This ribbon is so much fun. Anyway, okay. I'm going to run out of time. So I want to show you first. Let me show you this first. Because this little card, so the happy is from um, the Christmas catalog, Merry Christmas to All. The bat is a punch. The punch punches out three different bats. Um, this is from Spooky Sweets. And I punched him in black foil, so he's kind of shiny. And then I've got my buffalo check background, black ink on pumpkin pie cardstock. And then I have this kind of winter scene um, with a, a moon and then the trees from winter woods. So that's the first tip I want to show you is how I, I did this because you probably know that I created a mask for this. But I did my mask a little different and that's what I want to show you. And then I actually just stored it inside my stamp set. So this is my Winter Woods stamp set. So what I did was I cut this piece of Cajun Craze the same size as my card layer. And I stamped my trees on it. And then I figured out where I wanted my moon to show through. So I punched out my moon. And now when I lay this on the same piece of cardstock it will be very quick to make my moon. So I've got a little piece of a sponge and I'm going to grab um, crushed curry and pumpkin pie. I'm not the best at this sponging technique, but it's kind of a spooky looking moon, so I think it worked out okay. So I've got this. I kind of need a piece of paper underneath. I think this will work. So when you are coloring like this, you kind of want to start outside and work your way in. So I'm going to kind of go through like this. Let me fill in. And I'm just touching it on the ink and then just coming in. Right. So that was crushed curry. Come back over it with pumpkin pie. Make sure it hasn't moved. And this way, I didn't have to worry about it getting ink over here if my mask had been much smaller, which is, I think, what I typically have done. And then I get ink all over the rest of my card front. And that's not fun. Well, see, I started too started too much in the center, so it's going to be kind of hard to blend that in. Forgot, my, forgot what I learned there. Okay, so now there's my moon. I'm ready to come in and stamp my winter words. And I believe I want Oops, the slate will do just fine. These trees are so pretty. I hope this stamp set stays around for a long time. Now, what I did learn with this stamp, this is um, got a lot of detail. And when I inked it up going this, you know, going to the ink pad as I normally would, um, I got a lot of blurred images. And I learned that if I came, if I brought the ink to the stamp, I seemed to get 
better detail. So let's see how it does. Very pretty. So let that dry for a few minutes. Set it aside and I'll go ahead and put this card together. Ever go somewhere and forget something vital, you know, you're packing for a trip and you're all worried that you're going to forget your toothbrush or your underwear or your socks. You know, when you go away on a crafting retreat and you forget to take adhesive, it's about the same level of critical in my mind anyway. Right, so put that down. Now, if I had been really smart, I would have used the adhesive sheets and my happy would already have adhesive stuck to the bottom of it but I didn't do that so now I've got to get clever with glue. I could use the fine tip glue pen but not so good with it either. a little bat pop up with the dimensional then I've got this little label so this little label was also with the Merry Christmas that I got that from that I got the happy and I'm going to get the Halloween So here is Happy Halloween in the Cauldron Bubble set. And I only want Happy, I just want the Halloween since I've already got the Happy. So I'm going to use my marker to ink up Halloween. I apologize if you all are leaving comments. I am um, not watching them in an effort to not get distracted. And the trick is, how am I going to see when I'm centered? I'm just going to guess. See how close I was. It's still in the Oh, that's kind of pathetic. It's kind of way up to the top. So that's why I did two of them. Somehow I must have known it was going to take me a try or two. Today is a special day for a couple of my friends. My friend Chris, it's her birthday. My niece Mackenzie, it's her birthday. Alright, hopefully. Alright, still not perfect, but it's okay. And I'm going to put that right there. I am not someone that has to be perfect with my stamping. I'd never get anything done if I was. I do this to relax and enjoy the craft. And I enjoy thinking of others while I am making something for them. And hopefully they appreciate the thought and the effort and are not so caught up in little mistakes that probably are in every single card. Just mount this down. And it's hard. Oops. So how cute is that? So the reason I did this is to show you how versatile this little buffalo check is. So now you've seen it used with the Falling for leaves in a very fall fashion. There it is for Halloween. I've pinned several things on Pinterest using it. 
And then I also want to show you a Christmas look before I share my last tip. So I pulled out the cookie cutter Christmas stamp set from its own annual catalog. Very fun little stamp set. And I'm going to grab early espresso. Mm. And I've got a crumb cake card base here. And I'm going to pull my little silicone mat underneath. You've probably heard me talk about Rhonda Wade before. She is, I'm in her second line uh, in Stampin' Up. And she recently, in July, I think it was July, it might have been June, reached her $1 million sales milestone. And so she is in Utah um, celebrating with Stampin' Up this week. She'll work with designers to design a stamp set. Um, and she's having a fabulous time being very pampered and enjoying some time away. And her husband, Eric, is with her. Okay. So there is that little guy. And I'm actually not going to color him at all. Punched him out. Now I have, I have a card base of a red buffalo check. Um, I have a black layered oval. And I have a white one to on top of it. And it could actually be a little smaller. I wasn't quite sure. No, it's okay. Alright, so let's glue this down. So this is, I believe it's real red, but admittedly my light is getting, losing my light. If I know it's black. And the buffalo check. I'm going to do some purple. To do some Halloween. So I know I did not show you the buffalo check stamping, but that was just to save time. We will be using it in some classes. I'll have a chance to try it out. Oh, if you have not, if you earned bonus days coupons in August, if you haven't used them, they expire um, the end of this month. So remember that was a five dollar off coupon for every fifty dollars you spent last month. And that was from Stampin' Up. And let's put him on dimensional too. Bring him dimensional back so I'm gonna put him up so that I can stamp sentiment down here. I'm going to use it. So, some white. And the season. This is from the Christmas Pines stamp set. And there's a set of frameworks that go with it as well. All quite and lovely. I hope y'all can't really see that mess I have over there. And I'm going to get some black. Put my name in the So, this week, 
again. This, the product, featured product is the Cauldron Bubble from the Toil and Trouble Suite. If you place a $50 order with me, I will send you a package of the metallic sequins from the holiday, well, from the annual catalog. And let me see if I can pop up the, here's the post code. And here is the link to my website. I have classes um, scheduled. They're all, they're all listed on, on the website. So if you visit my site or if you look at the, the events in the Facebook page, you'll see that there are classes through November posted including card class, monthly card class this week, birthday and Christmas cards on Saturday. Um, the October schedule is a little different because of some travel that I have. So take a look. And if you would like to get some friends together and make the Timeless Tidings Christmas cards, I would love to do that with you. Or, or the um, project kit or the tags. I haven't put that kit together yet. I'm going to quite soon. Um, that would make a great class, a great event as well. So here are the two cards that we made tonight. The mess is over there with all of the cards that we made, that I showed you today that I have made. Um, this Buffalo Check uh, stamp set is a lot of, lots of fun, and it's very, very versatile. I think you've seen that. I um, hope you have a wonderful evening, and come stamp with me soon. Oh, I forgot. There is another tip. I almost forgot. Okay glue dots. You tie a piece of ribbon around your glue dots, then this piece, right, you just slide it down and then no more looking. Your first glue dot is right there and then you just slide it to the next one. So it keeps the, you from getting glue dots everywhere. Glue dots in your hair are no fun. Okay? Just, I don't know that from personal experience, I feel sure. But, Anyway, thank you all so much for being here. I need to switch back so that um, I can get out from behind this. Um, all right, so there, I'm kind of out from behind it. Thanks, everybody. Have a great evening, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.